Hello, I'm Bruce Shane, and today we're going to take a look at balancing bottles. Now, it's actually an older demonstration. It's been around for quite a while. In fact, this piece here is probably the design that started it all. But I have some variations I want to show you, so let's take a closer look. Now, the base of this piece was cut to 40 degrees, as was the hole for the bottleneck. And unfortunately, soda bottles don't fit in it anymore, so I have to use glass bottles as a substitute. Put this bottle in here. There it go. Nice and balanced. Let me turn it around a little bit so you can see it from another view. There's our balancing bottle. Now the next piece is very similar to that. This piece I made for small bottles out of quarter inch plywood. It's got a small peg that sits in the bottom of it, that's the foot, and a one and eighth inch hole that holds the soda bottle neck. And when I put it in, there it's balanced. Turn it around, and there's another view. Now this next piece is plastic tubing that's sold to protect fluorescent lighting. It's fairly flexible, and that will limit it to using it for smaller bottles. Once again, we have a 40 degree angle cut here, and a 1 and an eighth inch hole for the bottleneck. We'll put that in. Now, in case you can't find the plastic tubing, we can simply use soda bottles. In this case, the foot was cut right into the neck of the bottle itself. Here's the hole drilled into the bottle. Now let's do that again. How do they do that? The explanation starts by finding the bottle's center of gravity, and we can do that by placing it on this small board. We'll find a position where the bottle balances, and I'm going to mark that position where it's supported. Now when I insert the bottle into the holder, we'll notice that that position is directly above the foot of the board. So the center of gravity is being supported. Next we're going to use some pencils and these four half inch wooden dowels. The larger pieces have holes offset 90 degrees and the smaller pieces just have single holes drilled through them. Next, I'll assemble this at high speed. Now it's time to put the bottle on. The top of the bottle sits under the one pencil and over top of the second pencil. And then it simply leans back until it balances. And there it is. Now I think these last pieces are my favorite. It starts with a piece of rope and I simply tie a loop into the one end and I take a bottle and I put it through that loop and I steady it and there's our balancing bottle.
Now I do have another piece of rope that's going to accommodate a larger bottle. Once again, stick it through that loop and once again, there's another balancing bottle, a little bit bigger. These pieces are made with a rigid piece of wire that's bent to support the bottle. It was then covered with the outer layer of a piece of rope. To get that outer layer, we simply took the inner layer, pulled it in one direction, and the outer layer and pulled it in the other direction until they were separated. After that, it was simply a matter of sliding it over the heavy wire until it completely covered the wire with a little bit left over at either end. A knot was then tied at the one end just to make it look like it formed a loop. Now let's put the bottle in. And there it is. I hope you enjoyed my balanced bottle collection. Come back and see me again. Okay, bye.